Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and another episode of It's Jenkins. This episode of It's Jenkins is brought to you by Commando QS4. You always score with Commando QS4. Okay, well, so after the swift death of the enemy in the last episode, I'm hoping that we can do the same thing again today. We are going to take the three and a half skull base defense mission against the assault mechs. Uh, let's go to the command center real quick. Uh, I want to apologize for not posting this episode yesterday. I was supposed to record it yesterday, but um, my... Uh, nephew's uh, wife had had a heart attack on the weekend and I just found out about it yesterday so uh, I was a bit uh, put out a little bit yesterday but today uh, we're going to pull off a mission trying to get my mind off it so we're going to take this one and we're just going to go ahead and go straight into it right now let's go full salvage it's one day before the end of the month we got enough sea bills so let's do that and then let's grab once you load in we'll load up and we're going to grab uh Oop, no, we were already there. B Lance, apply. And I'm going to pull out. Okay, so the stealth. How do we have this now? The Centurion, I'm going to move to where the stealth is. The stealth can come out. And we had the Orion down, but not on Boomer. We had it on Vision because Vision has the controlled bursts, which I have to remember to use this episode. Okay, so, and then we're going to have the Hetzer out. I should just resave this. And the Efreet is coming in. Uh, the Cloudbuster is out. And the Ferret is in. And I should just be able to save and then name it the same as we had it last time. B Lance. And it should just overwrite the old one. I'm hoping it does. Well, we'll find out. All right, let's just go ahead and deploy. Command interface initiated. All right, here we go. Well, assault mech, they said it would be here. Wait, there it is. That's big. Well, we'll see how big it is. It's three and a half skulls, so I mean, we should. It's probably like 95 or 100 tonner, hopefully. Hopefully it's not an 80. Uh, yeah, whatever. Comstar. Uh, well, Commander Church has been disabled. It's been sabotaged. Yeah, we know that. I was going to say this guy looks like Gandalf, but whatever. <laughs> okay, Gandalf, get your shit over here. Uh, wait a minute. Is this... What base is this? So they're coming from this way. Oh, right, this one. Okay. I was thrown off because I was, like, looking at it from here. I'm like, what, the, what is this? But normally you start like this, right? And the enemies would come from here. Well, start off from here, and then they would come from here and over here or get dropped back here. Same thing, but... Uh, we got to figure out where the best place to defend is. Most likely they're going to be on top of the convoy over here, although it doesn't look that way. Looks like they're starting over here. Yeah, right here. So that's good news for us. At least the convoy will be able to get in. Now the question is, is where do we want to set up? Because we are slow movers. And I got it. Well, I mean, if they spawn here, it takes them a while to get direct line of sight for the base. If they spawn up here, yeah, I think here is probably the best. If they spawn here or here, we're at least in a position where we got line of sight. So let's go here. Um, yeah, we'll take the trees. Sure. Let's do that. And we got our backs to the enemy, so we'll hopefully uh, not get pummeled. So we got a catapult, really? And what do they got? Jenner. That looks like a Shadow Hawk. Urban mech, and I don't know what the other thing was. Vulcan. So this isn't the assault. It's coming in the next wave. All right. I mean, it's reasonable. Initial attack. It'd be fine if we had our main lance here, I think, for the initial attack. It would, you know, the main lance may have been able to pull this one off. I might try that three skull base defense for the last mission before we jump. We got one more mission to pull off while we're on this planet, so. Oh, that guy's just going to get murdered. Well, that AMS is no good. What's up, boss? All right, you got the scent, do you? Um, we need direct line of sight here. And we can kind of get it there. 
and there. Sure. All in ass. See if you can land an a, a, uh, AC-20 round on this guy here. That's actually pretty good. Uh, I'm going to leave these off, though. There's no point in using it. We just have... Well, we've got standard and inferno, but only a little bit of a standard. Yeah, let's just leave them off. I mean, they've got a low chance to hit. Let's see if we can hit with this. Ooh, streaks, eh? Nice. That's actually a pretty good loadout. Sorry, it was a pretty good loadout. Was that a head hit? It was. <laughs> we took his head right off. <laughs> Holy shit. And the streak continues. That's insane. That could have been worse. You know something bad is about to happen now. Not necessarily in this mission, but it's looming. The last mission plus that head strike, there's something horrible gonna is coming. I don't know what it is yet. Waiting for order. It's remaining masked. But it is coming. You know damn well it is. Alright, um, can I... I don't like this. Well, I mean, we're kind of shooting over the... It doesn't matter, we'll still put one into his back. Well, we got the peeps, so I mean, it's not so bad. Wait a minute. Oh, right, yeah, sorry. I was like, wait, this isn't the PPC loadout. I forgot that, I didn't see, the, what you know what I'm talking about. I for, I didn't see the rotary there. Like, I, kn I knew it was there, but I was like, anyway, didn't register. Sorry, I'm, I'm operating at diminished capacity today. Actually, more diminished capacity than normal. Tags on. Oh, my God, everything hit. What is happening? Reporting critical hit. What, like? Yes, Commander. I'm gonna move you. We don't need you over here right now. I'm gonna move you over here. Moving out. We gotta wait. Where's what? Round two. So they got one more round before their uh, reinforcements arrive. Ready for orders. All right. Um. That's a solid line. Confirmed. We'll take that shot. I'm not gonna use a Thunderbolt. Hopefully we get a better target to use it against later on. But those two light PPCs, nice chance to hit. Here it comes. Oh my god. Let's get a CT shot. Well, that AC is not very reliable. Wow. Really? Alright, we gotta get you moving so you can get some momentum going here. Uh, I'm gonna go... Ah, uh, no. I thought about going this way, but then if they if they drop over here, I could be in a bad position. Let's just go this way. I'll send him out to strike next turn. That's a f uh, that's Ready fine, man. Rock. Take a couple steps I'm forward. We'll take a shot at this guy over here. Hopefully, we can finish this off with the. Uh, we don't need the barrage on, with the peeps. Yeah, running pretty cool, even in the heat. I'm, I'm liking this load of the two heavy and two lights. It's it's a nice balance. I mean, range damage is... Eh, but once they get closer, it's it's a nightmare I for them. You. There you go. Three of them hit. Beautiful. Enemy eliminated. You got that right! Ready for orders. Um... What do you think? Go head hunting. It's the R80. Let's just push them. Why not? Sup, yo. 42. 55. You are my primary target. Going for damage. Yeah, even loaded, like fully loaded out, like firing everything. It's still pretty good. That's precision. That's AP. Incendiary. Oh, you're the energy loadout. Ooh, right. Okay, I thought it was the mortar one, but I guess the mortar is the R... F f no, not 59. 62, I think? I can't even remember now. 68, maybe. Um, no, let's go precision. I want to kill this guy. I don't really care about the uh, the parts or anything. Let's go full out. Okay, good damage. Snubnose destroyed, Target unfortunately. 
Would have been nice to get in the loot table. Crapple bolt. Oh, that's the 2C. That's the light. That's the 45 ton, right? I think we've got 2C parts, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I think that's the 45 tonner. What are you running? Who are you shooting? Oh. Peeps and... Okay. AP Goss Rifles, probably. You're trying to run. Yeah. Nice. Nice. Nice try. Nice try. Well, it wasn't really. Oh, there's the... Uh, nice. Turrets just before the enemy drop. Beautiful. Commander. Uh, this guy has decided to show himself. Could you show him the error of his ways, please? You know, the Stormcrow, I'm not really... I don't know what to say about the Stormcrow. The loadout is nice, but it's just been so... Even with all the precision stuff, like the... Um, um, fire control system predator and the uh, predator sen or the uh, whatever whatever you call it the uh, s um, sniper sent not sniper sensors you know what I'm talking about even with the bonuses to hit at range this thing has been mediocre at well, okay now that I say that it lands everything of course but in general it's been it hasn't been that thrilling if that makes sense okay they're gonna be getting a drop here in a second so let's just get up here try and kill this guy so I don't have to worry about them. And since our other guys aren't going to be able to see him, let's just straight up blast him. See ya. Ooh, hit. not a kill. Interesting. Ready for orders. Are you ready for orders? My order, should you choose to accept it, is to kill this guy. Look at the rotary. Yeah, the heat just goes to the roof when the rotary comes on. We can turn that off, though. Yeah, see, we have to keep them both off. It's very rare that we can actually fire. We got what? Yeah, we've got, we got five turns of firing. But we haven't had this good chance to hit. Let's just see what this thing can do. Let's just ruin this guy. Give him a bad day with a standard ammo. Hit him hard. Well, there's a knockdown. Oh, he had a plasma cannon. Thought it was a peep. That was that's a bad time for him. Yep. See ya. Confirmed. Well, you got nothing to do. I gotta park you here. Acknowledged. A little bit of backup and spin. What are your orders, Skipper? Ballot class? Wait, why are you... on the ferret? Do I have you guys reversed? Hmm. Go for a side strike. We've done the most damage from this side, so we should be able to finish him off here real quick. And we don't have to worry about this initial lance. See ya! Alright, now we can focus on salvaging that assault. I need a new target. And hopefully it's more than one. I've got eyes on hostile I'd like it to be a mauler. Okay, we got a lance down over here. Now, is this where the assault mech is? What do we got here? Palopolis, so that's a 75. It's an awesome. Regent, awesome, same thing. Paraballistics. Interesting. Is that a Shadowhawk? No, a dervish. Okay. Hetzer LRM. Oh, that's a nice loadout. A pair of Thunderbolt 4 packs. What is that? Thunderbolt 10s or 15s? Doesn't say. LRM. They're probably 15s. I'm going to have to wager 15s. Now, where's the other lance? Oh, boy. Orders. Okay, we got to draw their attention. Ah, oh, you're in a bad spot. Halopolis is running what? Sniper artillery. No matter where we go, they're going to get a shot off. But let's go full speed, whatever we do. To 
get as much evasion on as we can. Now we want to be at a longer range, I think. So let's go. It's still the same. Yeah, well, let's back up. It'll it'll be just be harder for them to hit me. Let's go here. Aye, aye. And do I want to draw the ire of that Hetzer? That's the question. Now, I mean, let's go after the Holopolis. He might still target the buildings, but this is this guy's. Well, do I know what you have? Okay, that's not that guy. The Regent. Do I know what you have? Goss rifle, half forty. Great. An improved heavy Goss rifle. Yeah, let's now draw his ire immediately. That's not good. This guy's a standard dervish, so let's just shoot this guy. I don't want that guy shooting at... Oh man, you missed everything. I don't want this guy shooting at uh, someone that doesn't have armor. Now, how do we pull his legs off? Overheating. So the Centurion's going to be a key role in that. Going to switch the uh, the 20 ammo to... Oh shit, that's a lot of damage. Yeah, so he does have 10s. Okay, the minefield's kind of behind me, which is good. Okay. Orders. Oh, there's the other lance there. Ooh, they're in a kind of a key position. So we got a blackjack, a goon, which I think is 45 tons, and an atlas. A strider. So he's got a shit support lance. So it is two assault mechs. Goss. Yeah, so let's stay away from him. And we're going to have to engage this uh, Perseus first. What is this? What did I say? Well, Regent, sorry. Try for the kill on this thing, though. It's a bad place for the Centurion to be. Although I got a feeling that Perseus is going to go for the buildings. I'm going to I'm going to roll the dice and say that's what he's going to do, and we're going to try and kill this Hector. We got good chances to hit here, so I'm I'm going to take them. Um, let's save the incendiary. We'll go with precision. We want to kill this thing fast, so let's switch these to Inferno as well. Increase the damage, and then let's hope we kill this guy. Engage. There's the hit. Beautiful. Nice. Got past the armor. Enemy down. Yeah, man, that light AC-20. Skipper. Beautiful. Beautiful piece of hardware. Okay, um... Um, it's not a word. Let's get you. Do I want to engage that guy? I'm there. This turn, or we do want to let him shoot for a turn. I think we let him shoot for a turn. Let him go after the buildings. He probably pull one down. We don't have the best chance to hit him anyway, so let's not piss him off too much. Let's see if we can land the barrage up there too. And our heat is good, so we're going to fire at this guy. Okay, not bad. Landed one. Barrage is way off. Whatever. Whatever. I think the Efreet's going to engage the, uh, the Atlas group. So who are you shooting at? Holopolis? Oh, you got the... Okay. You got swarm ammo. That's actually a good roll. Hopefully that guy, uh, the regent, targets you. So the half 40, I think, is the... Uh, it's got multiple... Uh, Fragments. That guy hit too many times for my liking. Commander. The goon vanished. So this is the Ifrit. You're going to reserve. Because I wonder if we wait... We're going to tank our initiative for next turn, but if we wait, let the Regent move. Well, he's not going to be affected by heat that much, though. It's not going to stop him from firing. But this guy, I mean, he's going to use his Gauss rifle, but that's a lot of medium lasers. Like, we might be... Uh, overheating is not going to be an option. Unless we can really jack the heat up. Commander. Which I don't think we have the ability to do at this on this stage. Let's move you into here. 
Aye, aye. We're gonna swap out for the peeps and we're gonna shoot this guy. Yeah, look at our... our... <sighs> Recoil's a little much. Uh, yeah, we're just firing him. Got it. Okay, landed one. Got through the armor. Ready to rock. Alright, let's ignore... Those guys for the... Let's reserve you. Their assaults are going on five and six. Stand four. When do our turrets go? Maybe before that. Let's see what this guy's doing. Oh, you are shooting me. Okay. Losing lots of armor. Getting banged up real good here. Yeah, I know. I was the guy that shot him though, so he's a bit pissed. And I'm now a target for that. Uh, this guy's a target for the uh, regent. Simply because I have no evasion. Not that I had evasion before, but... Yeah, I guess the Ryan technically is the threat in the battlefield right now. Damage with that rotary. Okay, um... You. No, you're gonna reserve. We're gonna reserve. I want good chances to hit when I move. So that's an advanced blackjack. Worst case scenario, old iron sides and the Ifrit should be able to handle that blackjack and wipe them out. Okay, just using the LRM. Fair enough. Nice damage. Here comes the regent though. What are you doing? Buildings. Beautiful. Destroy it. I don't care. Oh, we managed to survive. Nice hits. Alright, let's capitalize on those hits. I thought about going after those guys over there, but they're down a hill. Let's capitalize on what we got. Now, um, let's not get in between our guys going to be shooting at him. That's a frontal shot. I don't care. We'll take that shot. This should be plenty of evasion. They may shoot me from behind, but look at that. Great chance to hit. We'll just fire this guy. Okay, good start. That might have been a head hit. Lost evasive. Ooh. He's going to go down real quick. Now, the question is, do I want to do it now? I think so. Look at this thing. Like, this is like... Look at this thing! Let's make sure we're not uh, in our guy's way. We'll get into here. We don't need to hit him with much. Just plinking his ass will be good enough, I think. I'm going to leave the uh, bomb mines and everything. We're going to use that against the uh, this other unit over here. Right after we knock this guy on his ass. So next turn he's going to change targets. Our main lance can finish this guy off now. We're going to try and pull his legs. Or maybe we try for the headshot. We might get him to eject. Receiving you. We might be able to get him to eject. Oh, what's the chance of us taking his head off with, a, with an AC-20 round? Going to go Inferno for redu reduced damage. And see if we can clear his head with the uh, AC. Copy that. Nope. Did we get a plank, though? No, just increased his heat. That was a leg shot, so I think we're going to try and leg him. Alright, let's do that. You. Let's try and leg him. Let's get down the hill so those guys, other guys can't see you. We'll just walk it over here. We're going to drop some heat this turn. By throwing the Thunderbolt pack on, we'll drop the two mediums. There goes all the heat. We're going to go after this leg. There goes the leg. Hypergoss destroyed. We, we didn't clear the torso too, did we? How do we destroy the Hypergoss then? Oh, by taking its ammo up, probably. Probably because they had ammo in the legs. Look 
that wouldn't save you either, if you think about it. If you had the ammo in the legs there, and it, and it got and it actually cooked off, it would have killed him anyway. It wouldn't matter if it was in the legs or not. Here we got three of them. They could very well take the buildings down. If they really just focus on buildings, they could do it. Ooh! How did... Was that an ammo explosion? Yeah, ammo explosion. Right there at the bottom. Pilot injured. Didn't matter. Case is life, baby. Case is life. Ready for orders. You live to speak another day. Now the question is, is do I go after that leg? I think we do. I hate to do this, but... I mean, I don't hate to do it. I'm going to enjoy doing it. I'm going to do that to drop all of our instability. Ah, shit, this guy's like... Okay, what's the percentage chance for the leg? 77. Now, do I want to go... Do I want to try and clear the armor? Let's try and clear the armor. Because then if we go through, we're going to do less damage to internals, right? Because this does 60% more to armor, am I correct? It doesn't say. But if I remember correctly, 60% more to armor, but less to internals. So try and clear his armor with this. It's really an iffy proposition. It's not really pinpoint, but I mean, it's, it is what it is. Let's just fire. One. Okay, we did a lot of damage to that leg. That's it. And he bailed. Okay. I'm here. Taking that. All right, let's um show the Atlas uh, why it's probably not a good idea I'm to there. mess with us. All right, you are taking everything. I, I'll, I've only got, oh yeah. I was gonna say, I hope I have Infernos, but I don't. All right, you can enjoy this shot. Affirmative. So now here's my question. Reporting Why build mechs? With no ammo. Build four of these, and it doesn't matter how many assault class mechs you have. It's over. I mean, there's an atlas for you right there. It's over. Right? He's lost. And now all I have to do is hit him with SRMs until he's dead. Orders. It's really... Anyway, that's in re that's reality. That game, game wise, it's fun regardless. I, I don't really care. But reality wise, it's just... Why would you ever build... A hundred ton Confirm. mech when you can have a forty-five ton of freight that it, it'll just ruin it, it, ruin its day. Anyway, let's uh, hammer this guy. I'm on him. I think we only hit two there. Critical hit. It could have been all of them. It was a bit of a lag spike there, unfortunately. Could have. Uh, looks like it might have been all. No, not really. There was at least two in the leg. Maybe it was all four. Doesn't matter, he's having a bad day anyway. He just wants to go home. Your LRM 20 is not going to cut it, buddy. Systems holding. The LRM 20 is not going to cut it. Yeah, I'd say our Lance is pretty well kitted out now. So I think we just crank it up to five skulls if we can get a five skull mission. So I'm going to have to find a planet that's going to give us the ability for a five. Was that the Atlas? No, who was that? It was him. Something cooked off his whole torso. Confirmed. Like that that's just I don't even know what to say to that. Like think just think about that for a second. Two hundred and eighty what it was two ninety nine heat damage. I what do you, like honestly, what do you say to that? Just get four of them. <laughs> That's what you say to that. Just get four of them. Or two sniper mechs and four of those guys. That's all you need. That's all you're going to need. 
That's actually not bad. Can we make it better? That's even better. Let's get into there. Face the enemy. Yeah, we got... I mean, I'm happy with the lance as it is now. Copy that. But we do have the bushwhacker coming out, which you'll see the next... Uh, the next planet we Report. go to. Critical hit. It's good. Let me let me just say it this way. It's going to be a nice partner for the Centurion. See ya. See ya. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Makes me wonder if we brought the the mainlands down with the Efreet and the uh, Hetzer, what this Order. battle would have been like. We probably wouldn't have got the same enemies, but I mean. It would have been an interesting fight, you know? Alright, we're gonna try. See, it's a nice trade-off. Like, I put these two on and then switch it up to the other side. So we're doing mediocre damage here. But this is like, every two turns, it's like the like the Hetzer, right? Every two turns we get, uh, we get a good shot off. Engaging target. Might be able to get him to bail. I could have gone for the leg, but it doesn't really matter. I'm better, better off trying to plink his head. These guys are going to do a lot of damage to him anyway, and he's probably going to bail, so... I don't know what the hell he shot at him. I thought I saw a 71 there. I don't know what that would have been. Where is that catapult? Oh, he's got Mars. Okay. Now, I've never used Mars, so I don't know exactly what it does. If you guys know, please post in the comments down below. I don't know what the Mars actually does. I've seen plenty of vehicles have it, and I've never actually used it. I don't think I've ever actually seen a good description of it either, so... Alright, well... I copy. Let's just try and end this guy. Go with the precision. Target acquired. Nope. Well, the uh, Thunderbolt hit, though. Figures we missed a high percentage shot. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Can you, uh, actually get up to see him? I don't think he can. No, you are too slow. Anything back here? Nope, doesn't matter. Just push it to here then. We'll crest the hill next turn. Drop some heat this turn. So the avatar works out nice as a, a nice heavy fire support mech. Put you up here. Get out of the way of those turrets. Take a shot at you. Let's just try to get rid of them. Use the thunderbolt. Uh, how are we doing for heat? We're fine. Throw everything up. Locking on target. Thunderbolt hit, I think. Not enough to for the torso. Ghost rifle crit. Come on, Not bail out, buddy. On that one. Bail out. I'm out of long range missiles. That's fine. You don't need any more. Is this guy hot? He is. It looks like he's hot. Standing by. He's hot stuff. Atlas is no no more of a threat now. Confirmed. Yeah, like four of these guys. Imagine having four of them. I don't know what the what the sea bill value of this thing is, but um, it can't be more than the Atlas. Somebody's having a bad day. Yeah, good luck with that. Seven chevrons of evasion. Good luck. Plus, I'm a flyer. Wait a minute. Was he not there a little while back? Am I going crazy? I'm probably going crazy. I'll just stay quiet now. Uh, let's... <laughs> I swear to God my brain is like fried right now. What a week. The weekend was bad. Like, well, yesterday was bad when I found out. It was worse for my nephew, but I was... Uh, I 
started new ADHD medication, and it's like I ended up getting one of the the uh, serious side effects. I had to stop taking it, so I'm a little bit out of, out of it right now. Let's just hammer this guy in the head. Come on, head hit. Well, he can take a punishment. Yeah, at least he's not completely baked. Not that it matters. Tried to hang in there. There goes his whole side. He's got nothing left. He's a stick. So yeah. He tried to hang in there. I mean, if you think about it, an experienced pilot would. He's like, I'll see if I can, if my armor can hold. Yes, and then once he has no weapons, it's like, okay. That was a good run. I dropped in, fired my LRM once, and it was game over. Nobody told me they had an Afrit. Okay, that was fire. I copy. Nice hits. <laughs> I'm out of SRM. Ah, uh, well, I'm kind of glad we kind of followed up. Well, that's a nice jump. Very stylish. Get the Mars in there. Hopefully I don't get hit by that. You should be panicking. Commander. You should be panicking for this reason. And this reason alone. Confirmed. I don't think this AC has misfired yet. No, because it jams. It doesn't misfire. That's right. A uh, little out of range with everything, but we're just going to hammer him. Yeah, nice. Thunderbolt hit too. Critical hit. I've got no ammo and more. There's a knockdown. That's fine. No, you got other ammo. Got incendiary still and regular ammo. Oh no, you got AP ammo. Sorry. I'm so glad this Bolo is with us. Yes, Commander. He's got the. He, you know what it is? He's got the gun cam. He's actually recording the whole battle. On it. Jenkins paid him to record it. <laughs> We need to get some good footage. You don't mind uh, doing that for me, do you? If we shoot this leg, he's going to blow the whole side. Nope. Shred him. We got the rotary. We rarely have a good chance to use it like this, so let's just use it. Aye, aye. Back destroyed. Well, we did hit his head. At least, wait, unless that was... Oh, he's gone. Never mind. I wonder if that was because we took his torso and uh, it injured him. Now you got no one to shoot at again. Damn it. Get up to here. Move it to full throttle. Let's see what this goon does. If he can actually do anything. I'm receiving you. After I shoot him in the back. What movie was that? I'm trying to think of what movie it was with Danny Glover. It was an old western mover, movie. And I can't remember if it was with him and Chuck Norris, but they were talking about a duel. That ah, he's gone. Oh, he had a rotary AC too, eh? Well, not anymore. Mission successful. Yeah, it's bothering me now. What movie was that? It was. I'm pretty sure it was Danny Glover, but I don't think it was with, with um. How do we do here? Avatar got one. Centurion got a pair. Yeah, that loadout in the Centurion, I'm, I'm really enjoying that. That's going to work really well in the Third Lance. And we're going to run the Third Lance probably at four skulls, probably, most likely. Because when that Bushwhacker gets in there too, it's going to be it's going to be a, a good time. These guys each got one. So who didn't get in the Stormcrow? Yeah. I think the Stormcrow's got to go back. we got to pull it out of this Lance. Maybe we leave the Centurion here. But I want to leave Vengeance in this lands, which means I'm going to have to retire her from the Stormcrow. And she's got... How many missions in it now? 23? So... We've already got Agile, which I think is actually Fire and Maneuver, which I should have probably been looking looking at. Yeah, it's... But Danny, but he was talking about, you know, staring down an enemy in a duel. It's like, yeah, staring him down and looking him right in the back. <laughs> And I can't remember what film that was. I remember they were joking about it. I was staring down my opponent. He's like, yeah, you were looking right in his back. Because <laughs> that's how most uh, gun duels in the actual Old West was. It was like you just shoot somebody straight in the back. Because why would you want to give him a chance to kill you, right? Okay, improved heavy gas rifle. 
So that's there. Now, is there any ammo? I gotta check that first. Oh, there it is up there. Heavy gas ammo times three. How many rounds is that, though? Twelve. It's plenty. Let's drop that in there. We kind of have to do that. I can't not do it. Now, let's look for some good shiz. Signature damper's not bad. We got stealth stuff that we're still not using. Double heat sink kits are things that we need. Gonna go to storage just so we can see. We don't have any Atlas parts. We do have an Annihilator part though. So I don't know. Clan Pharaoh, which we don't. XL Engine, if I take it, would be just for Seabills. Clan Endo. AR 12 Sheet Beacon's quite, quite nice. But I think we still have one of these, don't we? We do. Plasma Cannon, that's the three ton version. It's not the AOE version. Mine dispenser 15. We're staying away from mines for now. So the. Yeah, this one is like 10 shots that split into five each times four damage. So it's like 200 damage if, the, if everything lands. But it's all splash, right? Bonus against VTOLs. See, that's, that's, and it doesn't weigh that much either, right? It's like 16 tons for 200 dam for 200 splash damage. And this is 20 tons. I don't know where this is going to go. 20 tons for 150 damage that has fall off, right? It doesn't say it's damage fall off, though. Now, question. 25% chance for knockdown when firing this weapon. Stacks additively with any other weapon that can cause knockdown. Minus 1,000% chance for knockdown if you braced in the round prior. Moving before firing cancels the bracing bonus. So you've got to brace. So it would be good if you had a pilot with being able to fire and maneuver. No, because then you still wouldn't be braced. Unless you had that... Um, is there a, isn't there a... A gyro is I don't think it's braced though. It does I think it gives you entrenched. If you walk, it gives you entrenched. Not braced. Recoil of four. So this would be another weapon that you would fire. You would fire in one turn, the next turn you would reposition, brace, and then fire again. Or you would set up on a hill and just stay in one location, like standing in trees or something. So the region we got two parts of, ninety tons. So it was ninety. I thought it was 80. And there's only one part of the Atlas, right? So what's the chance... So is this compatible with anything but another Regent? Because it doesn't look familiar to me. Oh, I say we go with the more reliable Atlas part, because chances are we're going to see that again before we're going to see the Regent. So let's grab, well, I mean, we could grab all of them. Or we could just be crazy and grab the, the uh, Clan HA-40 Goss Rifle. Now, how much ammo was there for that, though? Um, the double heatsink kits are looking good, too, because we don't have any. Like, it's it's becoming an issue with putting mechs together. I'm hoping I get one in the roll. Because all I've got is the... Um, yeah, there's three hypergoss ammo. That's 12 shots a pop, though. Well, I mean, we'll take it, because... How much ammo does that use, though, per shot... Is it, it can't be just one. Is it just one? Because this is hypergoss ammo, although this is such a big weapon, you would expect that it will use more than one shot per round of firing, especially if you're carrying 36 rounds. Right? You would assume that because you're carrying 36 rounds that it's using more than one shot per... Maybe if it's firing five projectiles per shot, it uses five ammo per shot, which would make sense. Then you'd have, what, two, four, six, little over seven turns of firing, which would make sense. Uh, 
it seems to be a I mean it's 960 range that's really far and this is 720 so I guess you would use this to pepper people while you moved in and then brace and then use both of these on somebody like this is like that mech is brutal it still wouldn't have stood up to the Efreet though if the Efreet landed everything like it did this guy would have just melted down that turn and then it would have been over doesn't matter how cool his firing is. Yeah, I think that's probably the best play. I know we're giving up on that mech, but like I said, we've got so many mechs to assemble still. And we got to move into the, I think the 100 ton range is next. So, because we do have a couple of 80, like 70s and 80s. So let's go this route. That was nice salvage. We got both region pieces anyway. Jenner piece, Shadowhawk 2C piece, two Strider pieces, Urban Mech piece, no big deal. SRM2, which we can just go ahead and sell. Clan Endo, beautiful, 275 and 300. We'll both hang on to because these are like, we need these really badly. We need, like, I need, this is the biggest core we have right now. Double heat sinks we need. Double heat sink kit, thank you very much. Well, at least this game was nice to me today. And, yet, and the day before. And we'll keep the plasma half load. Plasma cannons are good. Just depends on like how what we can get it used into. If we can get a plasma. So we'll take that. And that I think was a good roll. With the exception of a couple minor things. That was a good roll. Alright. 31,000. That's pretty respectable. For what we got out of that. That was a great trade off. I'd pay 31,000 for what we got any day. All right, so the next mission I think we're going to do, uh, which I'm hoping we'll play tomorrow. I can't guarantee it, uh, depending on what's happening IRL, really. But we might try this one. Mm. Wait, that's a defend base. Against who, though? Comstar at three skulls. That's gonna. That's too risky, I think. That's going to be 18 mechs against our four, which are ranked at one skull. It's a bit much, but we might want to go ahead and take another one of these. Now, who is this for? Uh, a Regulin activity. Regulin fives. You know what? They may have quick sell stuff. And at 313 salvage, that tells that tells me that they that it's going to be relatively difficult. Oh wait, that's the mid salvage. Never mind. 523. It might not be. It might be relatively easy. Let me think about it. It'll either be that or something like this. Well, this is planetary government at two and a half. I think this might be better. This might this will probably give us a better chance. I think maybe tomorrow. Yeah, depending on how it goes. We'll take something like this. If I'm feeling super, super cocky, we'll go with this one. But at three skulls against Comstar, we're looking at some pretty heavy resistance. We're not going to pull that. Like, we're not going to pull off what we did um, last episode against the uh, um, Word of Blake. It won't. It just won't go down that way. So this might be a good, a good one to take. We'll see how it goes. But we got. I mean, I got to. We'll figure out which one it is. It'll be it'll be this one, this one, or this one, depending on how I feel, if I can record tomorrow. But I'm going to end this episode here, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe and go check out that quick sell site. And until next time, we'll see you later. <laughs>